Greetings of peace and joy to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, in Christ the King Mission Seminary. Today is Wednesday of the 15th week in Ordinary Time and the Memorial of St. Camillus de Lely. Our Mass presider is Rev. Father Sherwin Aromin, SVD. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to St. Joseph will now begin. Come, let us sing, let us praise the Lord, and gather in His altar to worship His name. Come, let us pray, let us open our hearts to receive His blessings and to feel His love. Let us kneel down and thank Him for all that He's done, for all of the blessings in our lives. Come, let us sing, let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to your Eucharistic celebration here in the Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word. Today, we also commemorate the memorial of, the, of St. Camillus de Lili. He is the founder of the religious order, the Chameleons, who dedicate their lives in serving the sick with aff affection and diligence. He is the patron also of nurses of the sick and hospitals. As we continue to face this pandemic in our time, in our world, we ask the intercession of St. Camillus for God's healing to those who are sick, and for God's protection to all our frontliners, especially the nurses and the doctors, those who are taking care of the sick. And we continue to ask for God's protection and courage also to serve other people, especially in this time of pandemic, like what St. Camillus did. We now pause for a moment. We humble ourselves before the Lord we ask for, the many, for God's forgiveness for the many times we failed to serve one another and to be an instrument of God to one another, especially in this time of pandemic. We ask for His forgiveness and pardon. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who adored the priest St. Camillus with a singular grace of charity towards the sick, pour out upon us by his merits a spirit of love for you, so that serving you in our neighbor, we may at the hour of our death pass safely over to you to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 
A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses was tending the flock of his father-in-law, Jethro, the priest of Midian. Leading the flock across the desert, he came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in fire flaming out of a bush. As he looked on, he was surprised to see that the bush, though on fire, was not consumed. So Moses decided, I must go over to look at this remarkable sight and see why the bush is not burned. When the Lord saw him coming over to look at it more closely, God called out to him from the bush, Moses, Moses, he answered, Here I am. God said, Come, new nearer. Remove the sandals from your feet, for the place where you stand is holy ground. I am the God of your father, he continued, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. The cry of the children of Israel has reached me, and I have truly noted that the Egyptians are oppressing them. Come now, I will send you to Pharaoh to lead my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and lead the children of Israel out of Egypt? He answered, I will be with you, and this shall be your proof that it is I who have sent you. When you bring my people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this very mountain. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul, and forget not all my benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord secures justice and the rights of all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his deeds to the children of Israel. The Lord is kind and merciful. We honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. At the time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, and you have revealed them to the childlike, yes, Father, such has been your great, gracious will. All things has been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal Him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, good morning, my dear brothers and sisters, especially those who are also joining us in our live streaming. Do you want to know the secret of God? Do you want to know how to unlock the secrets of God? 
Or do you want to open, to unlock, to open the heart of God? The password is childlike. If you want to unlock the secret of God, embrace a childlike attitude. That is the password that Jesus shares to us in our gospel for today. As Jesus says, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. In the Tagalog translation, mas makakarelate tayo, mas naintindihan natin, sabi doon, Pinupuri kita, Ama, Panginoon ng langit at lupa, dahil inilihim mo ang mga katotohanan ito sa mga taong akala sa sarili ay maruruno at matatalino. Pero inihayag mo sa mga taong tulad ng bata na kaunti lamang ang nalalaman. Many of us think because we are all-knowing, intelligent, powerful, great, rich, and famous, we can know God better or we can unlock the secret of God and be like God. Kaya nga maraming gustong maging Diyos dito sa mundo natin ngayon dahil sila ay powerful, famous, rich, intelligent. But interestingly, Jesus revealed to us today in our gospel that the true password, if you want to unlock the secrets of God, then learn the attitudes of a child. Be childlike. That is the password. And one of the beautiful attitudes of a child is humility. The best way to know God is be humble. Humility. And the greatest obstacle is pride. Jesus rejoices that the Father has decided to reveal Himself to the little ones and not to the proud or arrogant. God has always despised the arrogance. You know, if you are so proud, proud of ourselves, our achievements, our intelligence, and even for us, we are sometimes proud of our status in life, we fall to self-dependence or and false confidence. We fall to this attitude, self-dependence, and self-confident, false confidence. And this will lead us to think we don't need God anymore. It can even lead us to believe that we can control everything and do anything we want. And the worst of it is we try to rationalize or justify all the teachings of Jesus in order to fit to what we believe and to what we want to do. In short, my dear brothers and sisters, kung proud ka, arrogante ka, mayabang ka, tingin mo sa sayong sarili, matalino ka, ang resulta nito ang tingin natin sa ating sarili, Diyos. We act like gods. We think we are gods in the world. At dahil ting sa tingin natin sa ating sarili, tayo ay mga Diyos, we abuse others. We abuse our environment. We dom dominate or control other people. I am powerful. I am great. We treat others indifferently. And we keep pulling others down because we want to be higher than others. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, if we have this attitude, our arrogance and pride, this keeps us away from the love and knowledge of God. This blocks our minds to God's truth and wisdom. That is why Jesus maintains that access to the Father is granted not so much to the proud and intelligent, but to those who approach God in humility, with trust and openness, like a little child. For true humility and openness of heart can lead us to love to the love and knowledge of God. Ang ating pagpapakumbaba, ang ating pagbubukas ng ating puso sa Diyos, doon natin malalaman ang sekreto ng Diyos. Doon natin matatanggap ang biyaya ng Diyos. Remember this. 
Childlike simplicity and humility is the soil in which the grace of God can take root. Childlike simplicity and humility is the soil in which the grace of God can take root. That like a trusting ch children to his parents, he or she depends not on his capacity, but on the goodness, the love, and the generosity of his parents. Sabi nga sa Proverbs 3 verse 34, God opposes the proud, but give grace to the humble. Give grace to the humble. Brothers and sisters, if we have this attitude in our life, for sure the grace of God, the blessing of God, the wisdom of God will grow in our life. We feel that even in our vulnerability, even in our weakness, we have strength. We are complete because God is always with us. It is God who empowers us. It is God who enlightens us to know everything. It is God who gives us wisdom to know the truth. It is God who gives us all what we need, even more than what we expect, because God's wisdom is always beyond our human wisdom. Our God is full of surprises, and even our Father in Heaven is full of generosity to us, His beloved children. My dear sisters and brothers in our Mass today, we ask for the grace not to consider ourselves wise and intelligent before God, but we humble ourselves like a little child with openness and with, that, with trust that we are willing to listen and learn to our loving Father, to open our hearts to be surprised to what God wants us to do, to what God wants, what, what God is offering us in our day-to-day -day life. We pray that the arrogance in us, the pride in us, will be replaced with the soil of humility, with the soil of trusting children to our loving Father in heaven. That's why our beautiful prayer this morning in our Mass today, the prayer for serenity, Lord, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. May we all be worth it to call God as our Abba, our Father, by the way we behave as His loving children. And from that, we can unlock the heart of God and, in he, and even inherit the kingdom of God. Remember Jesus' words in Matthew 8, verse 3, Unless you acquire the heart of a child, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. Amen. Prayers of the faithful. The Father reveals the mysteries of the kingdom to the little ones. Let us pray to our God who show us, who shows such love for small and simple people. We bring all our needs before our Heavenly Father, confident of His loving care. Let our response be, Heavenly Father, bless your children. Heavenly Father, bless your children that the church may give preferential option for the poor we pray heavenly, heavenly father, father bless, bless your, your children. children that government leaders may listen to the needs and cries of the humblest citizens we pray heavenly, heavenly father, father bless, bless your, your children. children that children may get to know god by our teachings and examples we pray Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, bless, bless your, your children. children. That the sick may find comfort and healing in the care and concern of those who nourish them, we pray. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, bless, bless your, your children. children. That all those who have died may enjoy the everlasting happiness in the kingdom of God, we pray. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, bless, bless your, your children. children. In silence, we pray for other intentions.
we pray. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, bless your children. Lord Jesus Christ, make us wise with all your wisdom and help us to follow you in the humble way you have shown us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of His holy Church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your people, and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity may, by the example of blessed Camillus, be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example leads us courage. Their fervent prayer sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As an exaltation, we acclaim. Font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread, giving you thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Camillus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Gathered together as God's children, with full of trust and confidence in our loving Father in heaven, we now pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Father who art, who art in, heaven, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace and the love of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that I should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. We are a pilgrim people. We are the Church of God, a family of believers, disciples of the Lord, united in one spirit. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we who are renewed by these sacred mysteries may follow the example of Blessed Camillus, who honored you with tireless devotion and by surpassing charity was of service up to your people through Christ our Lord. Amen. We now pray the Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank, we thank you, you for, for the, the vaccines, vaccines developed, developed made, made possible by your guiding hands. hands. Bless, Bless our, our efforts to use these vaccines to end, to end the pandemic in, in our country and in the whole, and the whole world. world. We, we pray, pray for our health workers, workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their, their commitment, protection, protection from, from the disease. disease. We, we pray for those afflicted, May, May they, they be restored, restored to health. health. Protect, Protect those, those who, who care, care for them. them. 
grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant, Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Renadimets. Pray for us. Saint Camillus. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We bow our heads, we pray for God's blessing to the intercession of St. Camillus. May your holy people receive your holy blessing, O Lord, we pray. And by that gift, spurn all that would harm them and obtain what they desire through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty and loving God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. So after our Mass, we will have our devotion to St. Joseph. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Prayer service in honor of St. Joseph. Be blessed, St. Joseph, a person according to the heart of God. You were found worthy to care for God's own mother and be a father of his beloved. We honor in your person the choice of the Eternal Father, who wished to share with you his power over his only begotten Son, the choice of the Divine Son himself, who wanted to be subject to you and be called Son of Joseph, the choice of the Holy Spirit, who singled you out to be the protector and chaste companion of his immaculate spouse, Mary Most Holy. We share your joy that you were permitted to cherish the child Jesus with tenderly love and care. We reverence the self-control and countenance which you manifested all during those years when you lived under the same roof with the Virgin Mother. Praise be the Lord who has given you such sterling character that the Virgin Mother could place her full trust in you to protect her. Be blessed and praised, our Father and Protector, for living a life so worthy of imitation. Make us zealous to follow in your footsteps. Petitions Blessed Joseph, faithful spouse of Mary, Ever Virgin and Guardian Father of Child Jesus, we come before you to offer you our filial love and gratitude. We thank you for the loving care which you bestowed so faithfully on Mary and the Divine Child. Show that same fatherly care now to us, who are members of Christ in the mystical bond of his body and blood. Blessed Father and Patron, be our intercessor with God. Implore for us that purity of heart which you always manifested in all your undertakings. Teach us your lively faith, your prompt obedience to God's will, your unassuming way, and your great love for Jesus the Lord. Glorious Saint Joseph, we implore your aid for the entire believing community, our Holy Father, and all the bishops, priests, and religious of the Church. Guide and assist also all temporal rulers. Be the model of patience and diligence for all workers. And come to the aid of the poor and the afflicted, so that they can obtain what they need to live worthy Christian lives. Be with us above all at the hour of death, 
Allow us to die in the arms of Jesus and Mary, as you did by the assistance of your powerful prayers. Intercede, we beg you, for the faithful departed, especially the deceased members of our families, that they may be admitted to the glorious vision of the Triune God. In the silence of our hearts, let us present to God our needs, prayers, and intentions through the intercession of St. Joseph. Remember, most pure spouse of Mary, ever virgin, our protector, Saint Joseph, that no one ever had recourse to your protection or implored your aid without obtaining relief. Confiding, therefore, in your goodness, we come before you and humbly beg you, do not despise our petitions, guardian father of our Savior. Graciously receive them. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ancient Prayer to Saint Joseph O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession, and obtain for me from your Divine Son, all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary of contemplating you, and Jesus asleep in your arms, I dare not approach while he rests near your heart. Press him close in my name and kiss his fine head for me, and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 